Hello everyone, it is your host Bacteria, welcome back to Minecraft again. Uh, I'm at my friend's little area that he's been building on my uh, friend's server, <coughs> and it's pretty cool. <coughs> Basically, my plan today is to take you by one of my builds uh, that my, well, that I built, and uh, just show you what I have done before. It's original, unlike some of this stuff, which to be fair, I didn't build. I built this, I didn't build that. Or that those are both my friends um, those are both copied and one of them is honest about it and told me hey this house right here that's not original I took it and the other one is not original and neither is that hobbit hole but that is from the friend who claims that they're actually his but they're actually neither of them are my builds none of these are my builds we're gonna take you by one of the bigger builds on the server and I'm planning to do some similar to this um, some other time, they're gonna be, I'll, I might consider showing them on the channel, but we'll see. And without further ado, I'm gonna fly over there and show you guys. Alright, so here we are at what is called Timekeep. I'm gonna do a quick fly around, and then I'm gonna set us down in the underside, because guess what, it's actually a flying island, because, well, why not? Also, I'm sorry, it's snowing. I'm stupid. So I've set us down on the, un like, part of the underside. Uh, this is, as you can see, a massive amount of stone. And, uh, yeah, this took forever to build. <clears throat> so here's what it looks like from the bottom. It's quite large. It's above the clouds. And, like, you know, it it's pretty large. So I'm gonna go ahead and fly in there and take us to the base, the basement level. There are two levels. One that's under this level. And then one that's above, and the one that's above is where most of the stuff is, and the one that's under is like a mob grinder, really, more than anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put us down in my friend's house. So I let my friend live here, he's a tenant, I suppose you could say. Uh, he helped me build, and I told him that, uh, that I would let him live here. Um, his redstone is poor, please excuse him, it's okay. And he's got... A bunch of garbage in most of these chests. I'm not gonna look through them because it's worthless and I'm not gonna go through the entirety of his house But this is what his house looks like and it's not bad. This is his turtle farm. I sold him a few turtle eggs um, And this is his sugarcane farm, which he did cut back at, at my request It used to be all the way that way, but I want to build a shop there sometime This is a potato farm that I built so we can have infinite food These are some warehouses because like the theory is that I can stay here forever if I don't want to go anywhere, and these just store blocks. Um, up there is like a steam generator because it's sort of steampunk themed, and these are like the little uh, valves and pipes that carry the steam to other places. We got some supports up here every so often. And then this, this is under construction currently, but this is what's going to be a dueling pit. It's nothing too spectacular yet, and I'm still definitely working on it, but that's okay. Oh, also, there are three of these. These are the booster rockets that keep it flying. So, like, it's not entirely magical, even though in the lore of the this SMP, it is magical. So this is going to be a dueling pit sometime, but it's not finished yet. Uh, but I'll get to it someday. Now we're going to go ahead and go up these atrocious stairs, but no one ever goes up these anyway, so, you know, it's alright. No one's really meant to go up these, they're meant to go down. Because, well, the people who would go up these are the people who probably shouldn't. So we have our first look. Here's what it looks like. This is from the side view. And then, you know, we've got these bridges. These bridges represent, like, arms on a clock. That's the clock face, that's the front view. And we got, you know, a pretty good courtyard, if I do say so. We got a few trees, we got an auto smelter, we've got a lava farm right there. It's small, but it works. Here's another front view. And this is what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty impressive. These, uh, a lot of it is actually dead space. Um, this area right here is just stairways to get to these towers, which aren't dead space. I mean, one or, one or two of them are, you know, dead space, kind of. But I'm still working on this continually. This is just the stairs. Um, I think I'm going to add some stuff here and here eventually, but it's really those two areas, those two last sections, that are where I live. 
The courtyard is nice. Uh, this wall is, well, not perfectly circular, but I tried. Um, I did my best. And then, you know, we've got a little bit of leeway before, you know, you actually fall off the island. Uh, we've got, um, we, we've, we've got the steam outlet there. And, you know, honestly, it's not a bad build. Like, it's a pretty solid build. I think this is one of my best builds that I've ever done. And it was built about eh, four or five months ago, I'd say. I just haven't wanted to show it. But I think you guys will appreciate it. So this is down the first tunnel, or the bridge, if you so wish. This tower is mostly dead space. Uh, I might add some stuff here eventually, maybe storage. I'm not sure. But uh, I kind of like the glass panes. Each tunnel or bridge is unique in some way, shape, or form. Uh, this one represents the minute hand, and if you take the minutes and the hours on the clock face, or on this, which, the clock face is kind of meh, but we're not going to worry about it. If you take the time, then it will be roughly when I came up with the idea for time keep. And obviously you can access the wall from the towers as well. Now I remember when I was building these bridges, I was thinking, what would the minute or hour hand have as a personality, and by the way, this is the hour hand, uh, I was like, what What would it be like if it was a bridge, which took forever, um, to, it, it took forever to come up with something, and this is also another access point, I might build something here, I don't know, but this tower is also a good bit of dead space, it has a room, but basically, each of them I had to come up with like almost a personality, and uh, it's, it's interesting, because like each bridge is unique, it's different from the others. I mean, of course, they're all made out of stone brick, because I like stone brick, and I had a lot of it, so I built it out of stone brick. But yeah, it's, it's interesting. Now this is the second hand. And the second hand, you can see, is a bit precarious, it's a bit light. It's, it's very fragile looking, and I kind of like that, that's what I was going for. Now this tower is actually the biggest... And uh, we've got an end room. It doesn't look that good, but, I mean, you know, this is a guest room. This is the nether room, also a guest room. And then if we go up one more, this is the main defense tower. Because, I mean, most of the server, you can, like, most of the server is this way. you got some this way, and a little this way. But from this tower, you can defend most air attacks, which I do reserve the right to shoot my friends out of the air, but I don't. I, I haven't yet. Also, here's my nether portal at the bottom of the tower, and once again, you have wall access, which I believe I'm going to improve the wall sometime soon, but right now I'm going to leave it. So if we keep going up, these two little areas, I mean, you'll see, don't really have anything, which is a shame, but like, you know, they, there are only three hands on a clock. And then you go up this staircase to my storage. I've got three levels of storage. I've got like raw items, magic, which is like books and stuff, construction, and then construction, combat, miscellaneous. I've got farming, I've got redstone, I've got potions, and I've got some corner chests. Honestly, it's not that important. It's, it's a decent storage system. Then I've got a chill out room, which I don't really use very often, but it's here if I want it. <clears throat> then the final level is, well, the final section is this. This is my max enchanting table. This is where I used to keep a bunch of like grindstones and furnaces, stuff like that, villager stuff. And then if we go around, and I did add these crafting tables, I figured it kind of looked nice having these crafting table corners and they're just helpful. Then this is my brewing section. I got the brewing stands, I've got nether wart, I've got brewing equipment, like there, I've got the water here, infinite water source as well, it helped me. And then I've got my own room, I lined it with gold because why not, I've got copper here because I like, I like the copper when it's oxidized. This is my bed, these are like some important items, this is the first turtle shell on the server. Uh, this is my map, I've got some stuff that I'm going to add to the dueling area. And then I've got furnaces and some basic storage. But basically, yeah, this is my this is my build. I call it Time Keep. It's like a giant tower, and uh, you know, I I kind of like it. You know, it's got a bit of dead space, which I am looking to fill in with a few things. <clears throat> this stairway level, like this stairway level, that's super underused. I was thinking of adding like you know little 
yeah, like this, like this. I was thinking of adding little levels, so these little levels can have people. I don't know what exactly it'll do, but like here I would also add a level, and here I'd add a level, and here I'd add a level type thing. But honestly, a lot of it is dead space when I really think about it. It does look nice, but honestly, there's a lot I could do. Oh yeah, and there's a pendulum, kind of like in clocks, because, you know, it is a giant clock. Like, you know, it's it's a pretty good build. I'm pretty happy with it. I had to build all of this. I mean, like, the dirt. Every, every last block I had to place, or, well, unless it's like, you know, the trees. But I had to place all of these blocks because, you know, it's a floating island. Like, you know, I had to I had to make it float. It, it wasn't easy. Really, it was the base that took forever. Like the the base of the the floating part. But the courtyard is pretty simple. Honestly, I'm looking to add more. The lighting isn't that great, but I don't worry about it too much. I'm not sure if I like the snow or not yet. But I'm just gonna leave it. This is a tonk that I built. Um, it's a bit scattered. But you know what? It's home. Uh, I'm gonna have to fill in a little dead space in these little areas, but that's okay because I'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, this is just time keep. Share this for a little while because I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And uh, you know what? Thank you guys for watching. I've been your host, Bacteria. Uh, please click all the good buttons, like subscribe, like, because I mean, if you really, really want to, it's a cliche. But you can always unpress them later, which, I mean, let's be honest, it's super overused, that line, when Dream started using it, but it's true. So please, press the good buttons, don't press the bad buttons, that makes me sad, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.